Now, last year was the first year I planted the China Jade. I uh, fell in love with it. It outproduced anything in the garden. Uh, you couldn't outpick it. Um, one thing that we did learn from growing it last year is if it touches the ground, it'll kind of uh, candy cane on you. Um, so this year we built the cattle panel arbor and we're going to grow up to watch the ones on the bottom, but that is no big deal. But we're going to go through the steps of how we plant, grow, harvest the China Jade. <laughs> Look at that. Now, one thing about China Jade, you see the little small cucumber here? All right. A lot of cucumbers depends on a bee or some pollinator to come by and pollinate it. And if it doesn't get pollinated, then it aborts and the cucumber falls off. China jade will not do that. It will grow whether it's pollinated or not. The taste is the same. The size is the same. The only difference is this, if it's not pollinated, the seeds inside the China jade will be smaller. Yep, you can see what we've got so far. They are prolific growers. They do very well. Seem to be pretty drought tolerant. Don't have to water much, but we've had so much rain you had to water anything. Um, these are very good cucumber. They make good pickles. My wife makes a cucumber dip that is awesome. Anything you can do with a cucumber, you can do with these. So I would give them a try because you can see, and these plants are young. Eventually, they will cover this whole trellis. And no telling how many we'll pick off for this. And I got some over here in another raised bed. Uh, some in a raised bed here, and I grow them around the fence. I don't know why I grow so many cucumbers. I just do. Uh, we like them. I give a bunch of them away. So you get a chance, you want to grow a new cucumber, give that China Jade a try. That's the China Jade. If you're looking for a new cucumber variety to grow, give China Jade a try. You cannot go wrong. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching, and as always, if you grow it, you know it.